Are you serious? Are you serious? What? The, I, <laughs> Ebola. It's not slowing down, but according to the World Health Organization, the numbers are still rising and the transmission is still persistent and widespread. Matter of fact, get this. In Mali, emerging Ebola crisis deepened yesterday <clears throat> as the government announced that a doctor had died from the disease, becoming the second health worker fatally linked to a single patient, an, an Islamic imam who they first thought had just kidney disease. But at least five people now have died from Ebola after coming in contact with one single patient, a 70-year-old grand imam in Mali, who was brought to the uh, capital from Guinea, the uh, bordering country where the regional epi Ebola epidemic first began. So this Muslim imam gets very ill. They take take him out of the country, and take him over to Mali, where he dies, and five more people have died that took care of him, and over 300 people prepared in his, with his body for burial. So folks, this is not a good thing. Get this. Uh, and as my wife Heidi, who's a registered nurse with a bachelor's degree, said to me, she said, don't you understand that at death, the body is at its highest, uh, uh, at that moment, it's the most contagious of any time a person is sick is after they die and touching the body and stuff. It's, oh, it's no, no. Well, the death of this 25-year-old male nurse uh, that also treated the imam first prompted health authorities to review past patients. The imam's family members who had brought him there later admitted to the Ebola clinic back in Guinea upon their return. Um, Mali authorities are now following more than 300 people, including those who helped prepare the imam's body for burial after he succumbed to the disease. Health workers have been particularly vulnerable to contracting Ebola because of their close contact with the sick who spread the virus through bodily fluids such as blood, urine, and feces. And on Thursday, a Cuban doctor who had contracted the virus in Sierra Leone was flown out of the country en route to treatment in Switzerland. Despite some improvements in Liberia and Guinea, the World Health Organization, the WHO, said Wednesday that the spread of Ebola remains, quote, intense in most of Sierra Leone. There's been 168 new confirmed cases of Ebola in the last week in Sierra Leone's capital alone, according to the World Health Organization report. Quote, the numbers are still rising and the transmission is persistent and widespread. Folks, so the American media got tired of covering Ebola, even though a doctor just died in Nebraska with it. A woman just died, was one of the people being monitored in New York. Blood coming out of her eyes, out of her nose, out of her mouth, and she fell out of a chair at a beauty salon and died. They, they ruled it a heart attack. Woo. Let's go ahead and get her in the grave quickly. Uh, so there's no question that the Obama administration now wants to squelch the spread of Ebola because of last night's speech in which he wants to free up immigration. Folks, I love the Hispanic people. I love the Mexican people. Matter of fact, they're the I they are the most beautiful people in the world. They are they are so faithful. They're 90% Christian and they're hardworking, family oriented. That doesn't bother me that they are becoming a part of America. They're already a part of America. What bothers me is our borders are wide open and there are radical Islamists coming in from all over the Middle East who hate America that are walking in and now this new executive action he just gave opens the door to more radical Islamists who just simply have to go grab a work permit 
and they will find themselves protected in this nation. It's opening the floodgates to not only illegal immigration to those who hate us, but it's also opened a wide highway to those that may be carrying the Ebola virus. And we're not getting the true reports from the lamestream media here in the United States and Europe. So we need to pray. We need to pray. And you need to be covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Don't think Ebola is getting better. It is getting way worse. And we already know that the CDC has purposely been misrepresenting the numbers. And the media has purposely stopped carrying a story. But I must stand up because I'm a watchman on the wall. I can see the sword coming. And if I fail to warn the people, God will require the blood in my hands. I see it happening. And I must cry out. Please pray for your families. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. Be pray, cover, be covered in the blood of Christ. And read Psalms 91. Stand on those precious promises that you're under the shadow of the Almighty. Stay under his wings. And, and be protected. No plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. Give your life to Jesus Christ. He's the only one that can protect you. None of these other false gods can.